What is up, guys? It is your guy, Adam. I bought another Mountain Dew, not knowing I already had one from last night. So, anyway, today we're going to be watching the Best of Family Guy Hospital Doctor mashup. Uh, Dr. Hartman is one of the funniest characters in Family Guy, in my opinion. Um, yeah, we are going to hop into it right about now, I think. Oh yeah, I destroyed my knee playing basketball. That was, uh, that was nice. All right, who's next for a flu shot? Oh, that's me. I'm, uh, I'm Peter Griffin. Mr. Griffin, these flu shots are in short supply. We need to save them for the elderly, like these folks here. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll be heading out then, and... Whoa! Oh, look at that. Oh, well, since it's already in there, you might as well uh, push down on the old plunger there. You're a monster. You know what was a monster? Frampton Comes Alive, 1976. Is there anyone you knew who didn't have that record? I don't think so. Bam! All right, have a good winter. What? Uh, very well, Mr. Griffin, you got your flu shot. Now, if you'll just sign here... Oh, well, this is odd. What? Well, you're 42 years old, and it says here you've never had a prostate exam. No, but I've had other exams, like that one in college. <laughs> Damn it, this is too hard! Here's what I think of your test, Mr. Teacher! You just stood up to me. Congratulations. That was the test. Okay, heart sounds good. All right, Mr. Griffin, I'm just going to need you to drop your pants and we'll check your prostate. Uh, what? Drop your pants, turn around, and lean forward. Um, uh, okay. So how's this work? You just feel my pulse? So we're... Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? Mr. Griffin, that's a prostate exam. Shut up! You had your finger in my ass! <laughs> the prostate exam is performed. <laughs> now, if you'll just let me... Get away from me! <laughs> Ow. Ugh, get a tan. <laughs> it's flashing before my eyes. <laughs> And for some reason, it's all just the sort of gay moments. What? No. Uh-uh. Excuse me, is someone sitting here? Yes, my lover, Tom. <gasps> oh, Peter, I'm so happy you're okay. What? Whoa. You're alive? <laughs> Did I have a heart attack? No, you had a panic attack. Or in medical terms, a heart attack for wussies. <laughs> hey, we have a bet going. Do you remember if you put your wrist to your forehead like a Nancy boy when you fainted? I choose not to answer. Peter, you need to get your stress under control. I'm texting you a link to a collection of songs called Yacht Rock. <laughs> Anytime I'm feeling stressed, I play this music and it really mellows me out. I think it'll work for you. Well, what is that? Is that like da 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 no, no, it's more like la da 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 da. Oh, good. It's la da 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 da. Cause I don't like that da 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 ba 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 ba. No, I assure you, it's la da da. What the fuck? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more music to prescribe to sick patients. Boy, I gotta take a leak. Daddy, you can't see. Bro, is that the fucking remedy? Because yes, please. Let me help you to the bathroom. I can see fine. All right, there's only so many seats on the bus. One of you will have to sit next to me. I will, coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he talked on the whole bus ride. <laughs> How are you, gentlemen? Dude, what the hell? <laughs> Whoa, with cataracts like those, someone needs a big pair of glasses. Hey, Jessica Chastain. I'm glad you finally agreed to have the cataract surgery, Daddy. I wish I hadn't. I can't see anything now. This is terrible. <laughs> well, that, that's why the whole family came to support you. Oh, really? Oh, Bruh. Wow, that's so kind. Who's here? Oh, uh, well, as you know, Pardon? I'm here. <laughs> Who else? Uh, Stewie and Brian. Hey, hope you feel better soon. That doesn't sound like the whole family. 
Hey, help those eyes get better soon, Pop. It's me, Peter. Chapupi. Oh, thanks for coming, Peter. I'm here too, Grandpa. And uh, and Meg went down to, to put money in the meter. Ah, I don't care. Ah. Now, Mr. Pewtersmith, Nobody your does. vision will be impaired for a few weeks while you recover. I recommend you and your wife have someone around to help you during this time. Well, I'd love to help you, Daddy, but Stewie's just been so fussy. One more push. <sighs> there we go. It's a boy. And he's got a gun! What the fuck? Bro, I want to know if I exited that way. The baby. Oh yeah, by the way, we're watching two. Two of these. It's for the baby. You look ridiculous what? like that. Not too ridiculous for you to put a baby in me. Okay, Raylene, I'm Dr. Hartman. Now, before we begin, uh. I want you to know the record is just past my watch. Well, it takes two people to break a record. You look <coughs> a little young. How old are you? Uh, 13? 14? 15. But, but he didn't force himself on me. I wanted it too. Well, that's the important thing. What the f- ah! Your vagina seems to have a penis and two testicles. Oh, right. I, uh, sneezed real hard and all that came out. Ah, that explains it. You're s- <laughs> you Take some fluid and tell me if it's going to be an imbecile or a cretin. Oh, Ow, my knees. There are places where those people can be warehoused. But from Aww. strictly eyeballing you, I'd say everything looks fine. Oh, that's wonderful! Now, Brian, did you have any questions for the doctor? Yeah, are there a lot of stairs in this building? Oh! Okay, let's see how those eyes are doing. See if you can tell me where Waldo is. He's right there, buying an ice cream cone. Damn it, I've been stuck on that page for two days. Oh, and your eyes are fine. Hey, that's terrific, Carter. <laughs> Seems like it's time to go home and pour some of that scotch of yours to celebrate. That sounds like a great idea. See you later. W wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? I, I meant like, like both of us. Didn't you hear him? I'm all healed. I don't need a service dog anymore. W what are you saying? I'm saying I'm done with you. Now, before I go, I'm just going to old man drink this glass of water. Banana Republic. Yeah, <sighs> old maybe. Facts. That's what my grandpa uh, used to drink all of water. Now to take an old man pee. Ow. Oh. Ow. 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 Just, okay. Ow. 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 Bruh. Ow. 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 <laughs> Mrs. Griffin, I'm afraid he'll never walk again. What? <gasps> Without remembering how lucky he is that he'll only be in this wheelchair for two weeks. That leg should heal up just fine. Peter, you do realize you deserve this for the way you treated Joe. I think you owe him an apology. Are you kidding, Lois? It ain't my fault that him and all his gimpy friends don't fit in with regular society. But I'm gonna be different. I'll be a right. dignified cripple and I'll show them all how it's done. Don't wish it away, don't look at it Hey, sleepyhead. Stewie. How you feeling, pal? Uh, okay. What? Do you remember what happened? No. That's the right answer. Well, you have a lovely day, and we'll see you when you get home. And now back to Romancing the Stone. The only way they're not going to kill my sister is if we give them the stone. Well, they're going to be looking everywhere. We'll have to hide it in my chin. Uh-oh, here they come. What? You better get in there, too. Oh! Good God! Joan Wilder's sister is being held hostage in Cartagena, and there's not a policeman in sight. I guess it's up to me. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Diane Simmons. Our top story, Mayor West has dispatched the entire Quahog police force to Cartagena, Colombia, to what? assist in the rescue of fictional 1984 movie character Elaine Wilder. More on that later. Now let's go to Ollie Williams' cooking corner. What are you making, Ollie? Eggo! Thanks, Ollie. And now this. <laughs> we interrupt this program with a special report. A flight from San Francisco to Quahog has lost contact with air traffic control. Oh, my God. That's your father's flight. 
Government officials are monitoring the situation closely. I'll be here to update you as this story progresses. Coming up on the Midday News, a couple in their 30s gets married without their dog being in the wedding. You're not going to believe their story. A stunning development tonight is O.J. Simpson is proven innocent. We have the identity of the real killer. But first... It's fall, the time of year when the leaves turn that pretty purply orange and Quahog prepares for its annual Harvest Festival Parade. Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa joins us live from the ceremony where they're choosing this year's theme. Trisha? Diane, behind me are 1,000 beautiful doves. Gently tied to each of their delicate legs is a parade theme suggested by ordinary citizens of Quahog. And here to pick this year's winning theme is Ten Commandments star Charlton Heston. Let my pigeons go. He nailed one. We have our theme. I submitted to Gavinus. A simple theme, but powerful nonetheless. Come on, overcoming adversity. Let's go, overcoming adversity. Show me women I gave the clap to. Oh! And the Harvest Festival parade theme is... The episode of Who's the Boss, where Tony sees Angela naked in the shower? Yes, that's mine! Oh, our top story, the Clams Head Pub has burned to the ground. Our own Trisha Takanawa is on the scene. Is Quahog in the grip of a serial arsonist? Police say no, but our producer says yes. Here's an artist's depiction of what the arsonist might look like. Anyone with information <laughs> regarding the suspect right? should contact Quahog police immediately. One thing is certain, the pain here is palpable. For many, this charred portrait of Elizabeth II gives poignant new meaning to the phrase, Hey, check out that flaming queen. In a late-breaking development, the police have a new suspect. We now go live to Hispanic reporter Maria G G Gimen Jimenez. I know what it is. Well, Tom, at this moment, we're approaching the suspect's house. Oh, this is better than, than cops. You, you know there's a fat drunk guy in there. Ugh. Hold it! Freeze! Ah! There he is! Hands up, Griffin. You're coming with us. Hey, hey, hang on, hang on. I want to see what they do with this jackass. Hands up! Oh, my God, Peter, you didn't! Hey, Fatty's wife is a babe. That's it! Well, Tom, You're it appears fine. the real arsonist is in custody, thanks to an anonymous tip to the authorities. Good. Good. Ah, oh, oh, the fat guy's struggling. Hit him, you no. stupid pigs. Hit him. Use the billy. Oh. Good evening. I'm Tom Tucker with a Channel 5 News special report. And I'm <laughs> Diane Simmons. A flash flood warning is in effect as rain continues to pound Rhode Island. Let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa, who's going to tell us all about the rain. That's racist. Tom, residents all over Quahog have been affected by the heavy rains, although some are doing their best to ride it out. For example, I'm here with rides a 10-speed everywhere guy. Sir, why are you riding your 10-speed? in the rain. I don't mind. A little drizzle never hurt anybody. Uh, I like riding the 10-speed because it's fun, uh, gives me energy, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Okay. How long have you lived in Quahog? Well, I used to live in the city, but I decided moving here would be a little more relaxing, a little more manageable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. What do you do for a living? I work in accounts receivable at Quahog Insurance. Uh, it's not too demanding, the pay is good, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Well, we should wrap this up. You're getting wet. Well, I'm living life before the cancer I have kills me, so uh, I don't mind the rain. Water feels good on my skin. It's cool, refreshing, and it's a great way to stay in shape. What kind of cancer? It's rectal cancer. It's slowly eating away at my lower insides. Uh, it's a quick process, both painful and untreatable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Trisha. Some local what? residents have even been evacuated to Quahog Stadium for their own protection. Why do I have to stay here? We just think you'll be safer. But my house is dry. Here's a blanket. If you're looking for a bathroom, it's all around you. Oh, come on. Can we please change the channel? What? I can't stand local news. No, Brian. The new female anchor is about to do that Child of the Month segment. I like her. Good evening. I'm Joyce Kinney. And this is April's Child of the Month, eight-year-old Angus Reed. Angus was born with cerebral palsy, and his only wish is to one day become a famous heart surgeon. All I want to do is help people. Child of the Month, Angus Reed. That's Good awesome. luck with your dream, Angus. We believe in you. What a weird little guy. Thanks, Joyce. Jazz. How old do they usually live to be, by the way? Well, you never see a gray-haired one. Ah, uh, so inspiring. Oh. We interrupt this program to...
to bring you a Channel 5 News special report. Good evening, I'm Joyce Kinney with this special report. The latest police statistics have revealed a significant rise in crime throughout Quahog. That's right, Joyce, and just to put it out there, Tom Tucker is packing. What? I drive a 2006 Infinity and I don't intend to lose it. So come and get some, punks. <coughs> this portion of the Channel 5 News at 6 is brought to you by condoms. Put us on backwards a little bit, then put us on the right way. Facts. Coming up, Greek food voted burpiest in the world. But mm -hmm. first, in tragedy news, your queen, Helen, has run off with Paris back to Troy. This is an outrage. I'll send my entire army after them, led by my best warriors. Achilles, ACL, get in. <laughs> We're here with local hero Brian Griffin, who recently foiled a robbery at Goldman's Pharmacy, which, by the way, is getting its ass kicked by the CVS across the street. Welcome, Brian. So, what does it feel like to be a hero? Well, let me say that even though I am a hero, you don't have to call me one. I'm very comfortable with first responder, or if you like, veteran. So brave. How has this incident changed your life? It hasn't. I'm still the same humble public servant I've always been. But there are perks. This morning, I was honored by a local business. Yeah! Thank you, Brian. And to show our appreciation, you get the first meal at Quahog's newest Sizzler location. Oh, no, 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 no. That's fair. Can you at least read what's on this card? Sure. Sizzler, the worst version of your favorite meal. So, what's next Damn. for you, Brian? Well, I'll be at Barnes & Noble this afternoon signing copies of Deepak Chopra's Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. Well, congratulations, Brian, and thank you for your service. Coming up, I get all anxious and weird when the new good-looking intern brings me my coffee. And here's Jeremy with my go-go juice. <laughs> What? For our top story tonight, we go live to terrific haircut Bob Costas as he talks with local man Peter Griffin, who is living his dream of playing for the New England Patriots. Bob? Thanks, Tom. I'm fond of your hair as well. I'm standing here with Tom Brady and his newest teammate, Peter Griffin. Hey, Ma, check it out. I'm married to a pro athlete. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> We're really excited to have Peter. I think he's going to make a great addition to a great team. I want to thank God. Uh, I want to thank the Lord God, because uh, it's not really up to me. It's up to him. Um, and I want to thank the devil, too. Uh... <laughs> he said, thank the devil. Oh, hell no, nah, dude. <laughs> no, but for real, this is what football, like any like athlete says. Why do they all say that? I mean, it's true. But why? Uh, you know, because that's, uh, that's why God's there. He's, uh, he's minding a fence, making sure that guy never comes back. Uh, you know, if it weren't for the devil, God would probably go insane, blow his brains out from boredom, you know? Everybody likes to feel useful. Yeah, that's right. Make it the world go round. Back to you, Tom. Diane, didn't your first husband blow his brains out? Oh, God! <laughs> Coming up, America's oh. hottest new curse word, Kleeman. We'll what? tell you what it means after this. Boy. We interrupt this program with a special report. Quahog is seeing its worst flu epidemic in years, due in part to a severe shortage of flu shots. Let's go live to Asian flu correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Trisha? Diane, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Trisha. We now return you to Robin Boy Wonder. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker with Channel 5 News. We now go live to Ollie Williams recapping the events of the last episode of Family Guy. What happened last time, Ollie? Stuart killed Lois! Then what? Peter got blamed! Then what? Peter went to court! Then what? Lois came back! How? Wasn't really dead! Thanks, Ollie. And now part two. Oh. Well. Those were honestly a little less entertaining than I thought they would be. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't know anything anymore. Some of them are really good. Some of them aren't. Uh, well, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you made it this far. If you did, I want to get to that one uh, k milestone, and that's all I fucking want. I've been dreaming of that shit for 
for years. Okay, and I know it's I know it's not going to happen, but hey, it's whatever. Um, I look like a fucking Teletubby. What the hell? Uh Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to upload these as fast as I can. Um, I'm going to go pretend my knee doesn't hurt and probably do stuff that will hurt it even more. And yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Send me videos you guys want me to watch. It can be scary. It can be not. It can be funny. It can be depressing. I don't fucking care. I'll watch it. I don't got nothing to do. Man, my nose itches like shit. Spring allergies. They're, they're coming hard as fuck, and I can't, I can't wait. Well, hey, sorry this is such a long outro. Uh, yeah, take it easy, and I will see you all in the next video.